Hello, in this guide I will try to show you uh, and teach you how to create your own Hugo Deem and from scratch. Uh, with this guide you will learn which parts are doing what and are they required, whatever. Uh, we will learn it by doing it and I will start from the minimal to more complicated. Uh, first we need to install Hugo, but I'm skipping that part. You should have a Hugo if you are searching for that. Uh, right now I have Hugo 0.86 and it's not the latest, but it should work uh, with all the versions if they not change uh, the whole project. You can create a empty Hugo project by Hugo new site and your project name. Uh, I will choose Hugo D from scratch. I typed it wrong. Let's fix it. And you should have some files and folders. The important stuff is layouts folder and the static folder. Inside the static folder we are serving our CSS, JavaScript and image files. Uh, they are not compiled uh, through the Hugo. Uh, also inside the layouts folder we are storing our layouts file like components, uh, templates, HTML and that stuff. Uh, also inside the content folder, that's also an important folder, uh, we are storing our content like blog posts, page content and stuff like that. Uh, the other parts are not required in this guide but to be familiar uh, inside the config we are defining our config like titles and theme specific parts but I'm not gonna show you how to do that at least for now. Uh, inside the archetype archetypes folder yeah I don't really get it correctly so I don't want to uh, give you a misinformation but I think it's for uh, creating default files uh, default contents for the new files and also we have themes folder which is where we store our themes but we are not gonna store our theme inside themes folder we will just apply it to the Hugo project. In the future you can separate that and create a uh, theme folder inside themes folder to be able to share your theme with other people. Uh, we can start. I will run my uh, tmux instance and I will serve my project. It will give me a warning but those are not important. It's an empty project, so we are seeing an empty page. Uh, okay, that means it's working. We can uh, start by creating our initial page, index.html. I will use Vim. Uh, we will create our index.html inside the layouts folder. I will start with basic HTML uh, parts. We will have HTML, head, and body. Inside the body, we will have header, main, footer. And we are a good developer, so we will type some comments on that. And the last comment is for the footer. Okay, uh, and 
to make it more understandable on a blank page, uh, I will just type the name and give it a title. Title. If we refresh, we should see our header, main, and footer, also the title. That means Hugo picks the index.html file. Okay. But uh, what if we want to create a new page, like slash hello or slash about, make it more realistic? Uh, it says page not found. Okay. What if I try to create a new file inside the layouts folder about html and i will just copy the contents of index.html and it still says not found that me uh, because of that uh, hugo will only load index.html from the layout the other parts are coming from the contents so this about html is not gonna work i should delete that okay, it's deleted it's still saying not found okay we can create that page with hugo you can type hugo new and your new file about dot md Hugo uses Markdown, so our page extension will be MD. Okay. It says my content is created. By default, it gives us a title from the file name, date, and a draft. Uh, if draft is true, it shouldn't be visible. I'm not sure, but I will make it false. It's not a draft. Give the title and some dummy content. If you refresh, we are still not seeing the about, about page. Uh, because of that, we should create a Hugo specific file called single.html inside the layouts folder. We should create a folder inside layouts called underscore defaults. And inside of that, single dot HTML. Uh, we are using single because it's a single page. That's uh, why we call it single. Uh, we already created some content inside index.html. So I can copy that, paste it here. If you refresh inside about, we are getting some HTML. If you go to the home page, we are still having the index. That's okay. But as you understand, we are having uh, some same uh, elements on the different pages. That means if I update my header, I should change all the headers in all the pages that's a lot of work right now we have only two pages but what if we have 100 pages i don't want to do that so to make it simpler we can use partials they are components if you use javascript or other projects that becomes more similar uh, but hugo uses partial i don't know why to use partials we will use layouts folder uh, so create a new folder inside layouts folder called partials and we can create header components so header.html in it what we're gonna have with the header is the header element i'll copy that okay Right now we have header component. I want to place it into the page. So for a single, I will just remove that. And with Hugo, 
where we can use partial and our partial name, partial file name with the HTML extension. With that, uh, the single HTML is pulling our header components, header partial with that command. So if I refresh, wait, we are on the index. On the about page, nothing changed. So to make sure all the things working, I will just change the title. It's changed. So that means our header is coming from header components. It is becoming a global, uh, but still our index HTML is not using our header component. It is using header HTML, uh, not using the component. Okay, we can change our header to use a component, but it's still not solving the problem. We should able to manage all uh, repeating parts in a single file. To solve it, we can create a default uh, file called base of HTML inside underscore default folder. Base of HTML. And inside of that, we can define our repeating parts. Okay. But if we just place it, it shouldn't work. It's still working, but it shouldn't. Hmm, if I leave it empty. Okay, uh, it's not working, I guess, if it's empty. Yeah, it's using the cache. Okay. To load our, uh, let me repeat it. Uh, we have some content on the about MD and some content on the index HTML. We want, uh, we want to use the content inside the base of HTML. To do that, inside the base of, for example, uh, in all the pages, I'm just changing the main content. So. I can uh, define a block inside the main with the command called block main. And with that, we are saying we created a block so you can place content inside that block. We are on a single HTML file, so to add some content inside that block, we'll just say define main and uh, we will end it here so if I type something on there it says error missing value for block close right now I'm uh, taking my website current website as a reference and my notes as a guide so let me check my reference uh, I did it month seven months ago this project so I also created that from scratch inside the base of HTML oh I created the block but I didn't end it so that's my error I just go there delete that dash replace it with dots and end our block Uh, yeah, so if I refresh right now, I have my content. But for index HTML, we are still using this HTML. I don't want that. I want to start using that block. So we'll do the same thing define main and as always, end it index HTML. Now it's saying index HTML, so that means 
all the pages right now are using the base of HTML. So if I want to change something on the head, footer, whatever, I can change them in a single file. That's a plus for me. And we have also footer components. We can make it as a component. You will get the idea. We created header components because why not? That means we can also create a new component called footer. Let's create it inside the partials. Footer.html. You're just creating components are super easy. You are creating a new file inside partials and your name, file name, will be the component name. I will copy the contents of the footer and place it to the footer components and pull it with the partial footer HTML. If you refresh, we are still have the footer. Let me go to the about to check things. Yeah, they all working. And we also have a big part here called head. It will also increase its size by adding some meta tags, links, maybe scripts. I also want to create a new component for that as well. To do that, we will go to partials, new file called add.html. And I will take the contents of it. Oops, not the header. Head HTML, place it and pull it with the partial head HTML. It just says title, that means it's working. Okay, right now we can manage our components in a single file we can add some content okay what if I want to create a page for show my blog post or show my a blog post we are managing our content inside the content folder so that means I should create them inside the content but what if I want to do something like that slash blog and slash the content name to do that we should create a folder with the name we want to use as a parent uh, path name. Right now we want to create a blog section. So I will create a new folder called blog. And we have blog uh, folder. But that means we should be able to go to the blog page. But it says page not found. To see the page uh, with the blog post, I will create a new file inside the blog folder called underscore, underscore is important, index md. This index file, the uh, first users will see. Let's see, is it working with empty? Yeah. If you leave it empty, it's still working. But I would like to add some title. Uh, let's call it blog. This is the blog page. Let's add a dot. We are not seeing the content. That's also another uh, problem in here. But we can visit the blog page. That's a good thing. What if I want to add a new post? New blog post. We can do that. We can go there and type hugo new blog slash and our blog post name. First post is a good start, the MD. It created a folder for me, but let's start server with the background. Uh, inside the content blog, it should refresh it. No. It didn't take it because of the vim I guess yeah we have our first post I'll add some stuff maybe some subtitles sub subtitles 
Okay. I should see it. Blog slash first post. And it says page not found. Okay. To make it visible. Uh, is the about working? Okay, about is working. That means our single HTML is working. Okay. But our first post is working no bloke slash hmm it's not working I hope it will work but it didn't so that means I did something wrong let me do a little cheat in here if we go to my content bloke We have a slug. That means I should create a slug. Okay. I'll go to the content of the first post. Create something here called slug. First post. Mm -mm, it didn't work. Let's see the wall. Hmm. I didn't edit uh, the codes in here. So. Let me remove them. It's still not working. Are these are causing problems? It's still not with me. That means I'm doing something wrong. Content block host. Okay, I will find a way to fix it. Let's look at that again. We have slug. We have some content in it. That means we did it right. Okay. I think it's about the layouts. Partial, no, not partial, default. I look at mm, no, we did the same thing. Let me restart Hugo. Sometimes mm, it says an error. Found no layout file for HTML for kind section. Okay, that's explaining me why it's not working. Section. You go layout look up for rules for this combination. Hmm. Okay. Uh, that's interesting. It says no section found. We only have single. Define name. Do we need to add our We should our list dot html I guess. Sometimes you go did crazy stuff. So like a uh, single html uh, we are showing only one page inside that. Uh, we also have list dot html to list some pages some sub pages under it. So in order to show that we should have a file called list dot html inside underscore default create that list.html and I will copy the contents of single HTML right now it is still not visible but our blog page is a list page basically because it's uh, it's have sub pages in it so it's pulling the list page uh, to prove you that I can go to list.html we are on that list.html as you can see it says list.html that means it's using list.html file 
Okay, but we still did not fix the problem. First post. It still says page not found. To fix it, we also create taxonomy term. Taxonomy term. Hmm. Why it's telling me that? Okay, let's go deep with that. Mm. We have our content with first posts. Do we need? No, we also have that. Slug first post. Hmm. It says route true. I said it false. Yeah. Yeah. It is set draft, so that means it's not showing it. We just need to set it to false. That means it's already working. Okay, but with that wrong, <laughs> that leads to us to create the list page. That's I plan it to show it later, but we showed it earlier. Okay. That means our first post and other posts will pull the content of the single HTML because it's not saying list HTML. If you look at the block, it says list.html. That means it's a list. But if it's not showing it, it's a single. Okay. Right now we have an index page where we see first and we have the work page with sub page in it and first post is a sub page of blog and we also have about it is a single page it's an it's an independent independent page just living peacefully uh, and what we also did we create header components to updated with a single file also we have footer components okay that we learned we can componentize some stuff can create page we can create page with sub page okay what if i want to list my blog posts under the blog page okay uh, let's do that to do that, we should go to the defaults and list the HTML. We will write some tricky Hugo uh, code. I will make it as a list. It will be look disgusting, but design is not the goal of this uh, guide. I will do a cheat right now uh, with my lovely reference. Uh, yeah, we are doing basically a loop with the range function. Uh, that page. I'm pulling the sub page by their published rates, but in the reverse order. And I'll end it. Mm, a tag. Yeah, we see our sub page, but it's not the correct title. I just added to show you. Uh, let's create some more pages uh, to see it better. We go new bloke slash second content, second post, sorry and maybe the third post as well uh, but as we learned we should change their drafts uh, property to false because they are not drafts we want to see them yeah i need to refresh my vim second false Oops. False. 
we have three that means it's working but you know I want to see its title and I want it to be clickable I want to click and see the post to do that we edit some anchor text there and I just need to place its URL let's look at my reference again we have permalink um, value in it by the way you can learn uh, the commands that Hugo gives you inside the documentation I'm uh, not do a deep uh, guide on that I'll just use uh, them inside my reference uh, but if you want to learn other commands what you can do and some great explanation you can look at the documentation they show all the commands and all the things you can do with that okay we get our links and you can see third post second post and first post if i click the first post i'm in the first post if i go to the third post i'm in the third post okay but i want to see their title not this dummy text so to do that you will just use dot title so there change it with dot title we have our we have the titles okay that's perfect what if I want to see this blog page title not the list HTML we can uh, use the title as well it's pulling the title of the page okay but why we are not seeing the blog uh, in here instead of post uh, titles because we are looping here inside here that means uh, we are not accessing the global variable sorry uh, the variable title we're accessing the title of the sub page that's why that's why we see these titles and you can see we get our block title okay we learned how to do that so we can implement it to the single HTML if you go to our index we are still seeing index HTML but if you go to about we're getting about if you go to the blog and in a post like the post style that's perfect let's uh, add a menu because we created heading components and we can change it inside sorry we can change it from one place let's go to the partials and inside here I will create a menu home blog and about it should be blog it should be about okay we have them we can move the page fastly than before okay but we are still not getting the content of the page we are just getting the title that's also easy for example for the single page HTML I want to get the content content not the contact if you go to the posts we are not seeing that for the about we are seeing that so let's add some content inside the posts hmm first post have a content okay second post did not let's add some more to the third third post has its content second post 
third post, first post. Yeah, we are pulling the content of the page and printing it into the single page. I want to do the same thing to the list page. For example, the blog page. So to do that, this is also same as the single page, just content. But the blog index page, oh, it's already have it content, okay. That's why we are seeing that. We learned to create some content and pull its content to the page, list page and a single page. Okay, what if I want to do some styling? I will not go deep into that, in deep into that, but I will show you the, the basics. As I told earlier, tol told you earlier, we have static folder that we serve our static files um, to the user. We can create a new folder to make it more organized uh, called CSS and our style CSS file in it. Let's uh, make the background color um, some gray value. It shouldn't work. And let me change the color to make it more visible. Let's pick something uh, super visible. Uh, as you can see, it didn't change. How can I link that CSS to my page? That's easy. We already componentized uh, the head. So we can go to the head component, not the index. And we can link uh, this CSS stuff style sheets. Style sheet, yeah type text slash CSS and R href URL uh, with the Hugo static files you just need to add slash and your URL CSS style CSS if we hard refresh it we are not seeing that that means it did not work mm, no we imported our CSS but it is not getting it but I can see that hmm. we are having some problems here is this about to go link oh I miss Typed uh, style sheet here. Style sheet. Yeah, the page is red now. Uh, that makes my eye pain, so I will change it to a gray value. Okay, that means we learned how to link our CSS file. Okay, you can do the same thing for the JavaScript. Uh, let's create a new folder, JS and script the JS file in it. We can throw an alert. Hey, I'm working. And we should see an alert, but we did not because we didn't link it. To link it, we'll go to the, uh, not the head, because usually we are not putting script tags inside head. We are putting them before the end of the body tag. So we have to go to the base of and add our scripts from here, scripts, src, source slash js and script.js and end it and 
we see that in every page, every page. That means we linked our JavaScript file successfully. What else I need to show? Let me check my checklist. And my reference. What else I didn't do? We have short codes. Uh, what is short code? Short code is a helper like uh, components uh, to show some custom HTML uh, inside a page, but they are used inside Markdown files. Uh, in Markdown, we can use HTML, but we can only use basic HTML. It's uh, it is not. You uh, let me repeat it. Uh, it's not that easy to implement some styled HTMLs on it. So that's why we are using short codes. Uh, short codes are usually theme and theme specific. So showing that in here is not a good idea, but I can give an example from my website. We have short codes folder. You should create that if you want to use short codes. Uh, if I remember, I created a short code to show an iframe. You're just placing your HTML in it. And you can uh, link, sorry, you can take some values in it. And you will refer it inside the markdown. But I suggest you to search it online to get better information. I'm not super great at that, so I don't want to give you a misinformation about it. Uh, let me check it again. We have partials. Inside partials, you are creating components. You can create whatever component you want. I suggest creating a lot of components to increase your reusability and performance. Sorry, not the performance, it's not the correct word. Your uh, developer performance, uh, if you create components, you will uh, lower your time for editing uh, some HTML. Inside defaults, we are uh, creating default files. You can create rss.xml to show rss feeds to your users. It's also another thing, so you should search it online. Uh, yeah, we have contents. I think we did all the basic stuff to get started uh, to creating your own theme for Hugo.